welcome back for this new tutorial. This is a new step-by-step -step introducing to Azure Cloud. So we have seen how to create locally and to test it. I'm going to go through the walkthrough. So we've seen testing locally in Docker. So that was a part two. So part one is testing locally with an Akanda. And the second video was testing locally in Docker. And this time we're going to create, we're going to use this simple API and deploy it to Azure. So uh, I'm just presenting my environment. So you have right here my website, right here the post. Then you can have access to the code. I'm going to work on this one. So this application and you have all the, all the workflow or all the process of uh, every video that I'm presenting, even though you have also a walkthrough. Um, everything has been inspired by uh, this post, which I'm taken, but I've, I've changed a few things and make it more explanation. So first of all, I need to have, you need to create a registration or subscription on Azure service. So it's a free one for 30 days available. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna leverage on the Azure command line interface. And I'm gonna show you a little bit of Azure, even though I'm using only, uh, only uh, most of the time sublime. So let's do it right away. So I'm going to create the local image. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to do exactly what I've done before. So in the blue one, I'm going to get there. I'm here already. You see my stuff. I'm going to, I'm going to leverage on the doc on this Docker file and create a local image. So let's call it 12. Let's call it 12. I replace it everywhere. So I'm good. I'm going to, I'm going to watch the, the things working and I'm going to change it. Say hi, YouTube, to be sure that I'm working on this and put API in capital letters. Okay, so let's do it. So I'm going to create this image. Oh, by the way, I have Docker running and it's empty. Okay, so we will do the we will do the whole procedure from scratch right here, here in creating the Docker image and watching the things working locally. And this one will be used for to collect to Azure Cleat. So let's do it in the blue one. I'm building the image. Then I'm launching the. So I see in Docker right here. I see this new one with the tag test two, and I see the container. And if I go directly to this uh, application, so I would see my application running. Hi YouTube. So this is a local one. I hope to have a second tab in a minute where I can have the same application working on the Azure Cloud. So let's go straight away. So I'm gonna go on the second part. So that was the blue one. Okay, and that's the red one I'm going to use. So first of all, I need to have install Azure CLI, which is already installed on the machine. So I will show you. And you have all the explanation on how to install stuff like that uh, right here. So I've used, I'm a, as I'm on a Mac, I'm using Homebrew to install it. So let's log in because I will interact with the stuff. So I'm selecting my account and I'm good. I got the feedback from the platform and it's okay. I am on subscription. Okay. And by the way, I stopped for a minute and just show you that I can do exactly the same thing, but I don't like too much working um, on, um, on visual code because I find it too tiny, but with visual code, I can have access to the same thing in the same environment in a whole in one. So for instance, I can just you that is working right here you will have access to the console right here you have access to the editor and I've installed the little uh, application I think I give the extension somewhere which is over there yeah that's what this one you have the extension where uh, you can follow also this instruction and install everything that is need and basically uh, in this in this uh, visual code you will work only in visual code, which is pretty handy, handy but I rather go because I'm, I'm, I'm a bit short sighted. So I better go with a bigger screen. Okay, so let's do it. So I will keep this open, but I won't use it. Okay. 
Okay, so let's let's get back to our work. So what this is the beginning. This is the really starting stuff. So we're gonna first create a resource group. I call it fastapi.org. This is a naming convention, which means that uh, ARJ stands for resource group. So you can delete already if you want to change the name, but I won't do that because I want to use it. And basically, I give you also the model that have been um, that have been given by Pamela Fox into the, into in this tutorial. But the command good is my command. Okay. So step four, create a container registry. So I'm going to create a container registry. This one is will be want to try container registry. Again, I give you the uh, the the my example. Uh, it's called Pamela Pamela Container Registry because she's called Pamela Fox, but this one, that's mine. So I'm going to create and I'm going to take uh, an installation that is very basic because I don't want to pay anything. OK, so it will create the stuff. So I'm attaching my uh, container registry to this resource group. And basically, if I go back into Azure, I should see some changing. You see, if I go there, then I have my container registry, uh, sorry, resource group, and I should see also my container registry when it's done. So it's created. Let's go to the command five, where I'm going to log to this container registry. And then I will, then I will, I will, I will, I will do, I will do the six, six command. I will install this Docker image directly into my new creation, my container registry. So be sure to use the name that you have and be sure to be logged. Okay. So what I'm going to do, what I'm going to use, it's a Linux uh, kind of distribution, whatever. And here you can also change the name if you need. But that's just give you like the equivalent of the tags you have here, the tags of the image. This is the way you 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 work. So it doesn't matter. I'm going to create this action is going to take a little bit of time. OK, so login successfully, I can type then and create this image. And then we will focus on the part that will be really the interesting one, meaning that I'm going to deploy the simple application into this container. OK. So. So I have still the local. And then so just to be sure to explain what is happening right here, there will be optional. It's not interesting to do it. We will go straight away and create the environment, call it. Uh, and we will attach again the environment to the resource group and then we will, uh, we will, we will, we will, we will uh, activate the admin enable just to grab the password. So see if he has done the stuff. So it takes a little bit of time. It depends on your uh, internet connection. Mine is not so good, but it doesn't matter. It should go, it should go. I really want to do it live and to wait until it's done. Okay. And then be sure when you will go to this uh, registry and show the um, and show the password, be sure to have um, to grab the correct one. I made a copy and paste every time and I'm often doing some errors. OK, so I will replace it just to be sure that I won't forget anything until it's done. Yeah, that's good. So I clear my console and then so what did I say? Uh, I can't remember where I was. Uh, I think I can go back. Yeah, I've built the platform and stuff like that. OK, perfect. So I build the platform. I'm here. So I'm going to start right here. So I give up these optional things and I will go. I will go directly and create the environment. OK, let's create the environment. Oh, by the way, if I look at my resource group and stuff like that, I should, if I refresh the page, I should see, 
inside the resource group, some stuff created it and so on. Activity log, yeah, for instance, I see all my action. You see, I was working on it before, so that's why I've made several attempts. That's why you see all this login stuff. Anyway, let's see if he has done, is running. So it takes a little bit of time because, yeah, and I will get a kind of default domain where I will have a, the glance of uh, uh, the future URL of my application. Come on. Then I prepare the second one. So this time I will admin enable and give the password. When I've done this uh, step, I think we can really go in closer to the uh, to the to the publication. Yeah, we're still wondering. I have to wait. What do? What? What could I say? Yeah, I'm not far from the end, so that's good. Uh, yeah, you can think about uh, cut and paste everything or programming the stuff inside. Uh, I've made. I think in this directory, I've made a little, um, little, little uh, script to 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 deploy everything when everything is has been already created. Okay, you see, uh, this is what I've done. And also, by the way, if you're missing any uh, name for your application or your container registry, I've created a small script that creates randomly a container registry, a kind of app name in a way. So we're good. Then I'm going to show the password. Let's do it with, caref so with uh, carefully. So I have activate the and then I'm going to show the password. And then I'm going to grab the password right here. And then I'm going to copy and paste the password inside my command and then this command was going to create the app and deploy it i hope that i have the correct one and everything is okay so you see you have the amp you have the wanna try registry you have this password and it's external etc etc so i don't go into the explanation but the result is that it's, it's to be in five minutes to have an application running on Azure. So I hope that it will work. And I think I will get what I call the uh, latest, latest revision FQDN, where, where this is the URL of this application that I should see working. That will be this one. Okay. Hope that is going to, ah, apparently it's done. So where is the FQDN? This is this one. Uh, no, this is this one. Whoops. So I'm taking this one. And if I put it inside this, I have it right here. So we're good. We have deployed our application inside the, um, the, uh, the Azure services. So I think I'm good. I'm going to stop the video quickly because I don't want to spoil it. Uh, anyway, if you like my work, you can register to my YouTube channel and you have access to the article. You have access to the court source. I try to explain. Be sure uh, to have um, Azure uh, registration service, but I will kill all this application. So you can find this, 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 this URL will not exist anymore. So just, it was just to try. I don't want to keep it live. So uh, I would say URL, but it will be disabled. It will be a kill soon. Okay. And then um, all the video is going, I'm going to rerun the video and blur everything that is uh, a bit um, so for security reasons. So uh, you won't see exactly what are the stuff. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my video. See you then. Bye-bye.